Hey, it's Adrian. Today I'm taking a look at a really unique video doorbell camera. So this is the dual cam from Lindo and what makes it so unique is that it has two cameras. So you have one at the top and one at the bottom. And the benefit of this is that you'll be able to see who's at your door and say you have a package delivered. With most video doorbells, you can't see what's on the ground. But with this, because it has that bottom camera, you can actually see that a package was delivered or not. Lindo has sent the dual cam to me for review, but I'm going to give you my unbiased thoughts on how well it works. So let's get into it. In the package you have everything you need to get started. So you have the dual cam here, you have an angled mounting bracket if you want to use that. You have a wireless chime unit which is so handy to have. You have a Type-C charging cable, you have mounting hardware and you also have wires if you want to wire this to an existing chime system if you didn't want to use the wireless one. You also have a manual position guide and sticker. Design wise it's a really nice looking doorbell unit. So you can see that it sticks out maybe about an inch on most of it and then at the widest part maybe like about an inch and a half but otherwise it's a really nice looking doorbell you know i'm really a fan of this black and white color scheme contrasts really nicely and it has a little bit of weight to it a little bit of heft so it definitely feels you know premium and a high quality but it is pretty much an all plastic build now at the top we have the main 2k camera we also have the doorbell button and you can see is just uh, flashing the setup LED lights and then we have a uh, camera at the bottom as well. Now you can see there's also a speaker grill right there and at the bottom is where we have the USB Type-C uh, charging port for when you need to top this up and looking at the back these are where we have the retention clips to put it into the bracket and we also have some terminals here. If you want to wire this to an existing chime now this part is optional so you can see this is the bracket that comes with it and to set this up what we would do is you can see it has an arrow here saying up so you would just slide that in and this is now secure and there's only one way to get this out which is to use the detach tool to pop into that slot there which i'll show you after so this is how you're going to have it standard and if you want to use the angle mounting bracket then you can connect it with the screws the chime unit now you could see it has a really handy storage at the top here so this is that detachable pin that would go at the bottom here to separate the doorbell from that mounting plate i'm just going to pop that back in here but the chime unit you know really compact you can plug it in and you can detach um, this plug for whichever region you're in but it's obviously going to ship with the one for the region that you're in so you have the speaker here and there is also the chime button here or chime setting probably to go through the different chime uh, tones and to set the volume and you do have an led indicator light there the lindo dual cam video doorbell is a 2k video doorbell which is capable of hdr video you have 190 degrees field of view there is also two-way talk. Now for detection, you have human and package detection, which uses AI. You can wire it to your existing chime if needed, but it also does have an optional chime as well. It has night vision mode with eight infrared lights. You have a PIR sensor, radar sensor to reduce false alarms. You have an IP67 weather rating. There is also free three-day history without a subscription. So I've downloaded the Lindo Life app. I'm just gonna add the device. So I've powered on the camera. So it says press the power button until you hear a beep and the red and white light flashes. So I've already heard that beep. I'm going to go to next and I'm going to give it location access and it's found the camera. Okay. I'm just going to enter my Wi-Fi details now. Okay. So I'm waiting for it to connect to the Wi-Fi. looks like that's happened. The Wi-Fi connection is successful. All right. It connected successfully and we're done. I've decided to install the Lindo dual cam using adhesive strips so I don't have to drill into my door. I've installed the Lindo dual cam and I just want to go through the app settings now. So you can see as soon as you fire up the app, this is the interface you're going to get. I could go ahead and click the play button and that's going to pull up the live view. And you can see that's actually pretty quick. I'm in my basement and it's still rather quick. Now this is my connection speed, it shows the battery life. Um, one thing I did want to point out though is that even though it opened up really quickly this time, sometimes it, you know, it times out or it takes a really long time, but if I just hit back and try again, it usually gets it on the second attempt. It's just something to be mindful of. Now in this main interface, 
this is the top camera, the 2K camera, and you could see, you know, the quality on here is pretty good. And then at the bottom, this is where we could see that lower resolution camera meant for packages if someone puts a package here. One thing I want to point out though is that I have a delivery box and because it's kind of blocking the light coming in, it's, you know, much darker here, but I can still make out packages if they are there when I pull up the live view. The other thing to note is that I have, you know, kind of like a ceiling or a roof over my entryway and that also limits the amount of light coming in, but I mean, it's still adequate. If you don't have one of those, it's going to be even brighter on your end. But while we're in this interface, you have a couple of quick options here. So, you know, you could take a screenshot, you could take a video recording at will, and then you can also play, you know, re pre recorded messages. So I'm just going to leave that. I'll test that later. And then we also have an option for sound on or off. Um, I have my phone volume really low, so it's not going to be a problem. Now, I'm going to go into live view, um, the full screen live view. And you can see, you know, it's pretty clear with the 2K quality. It's quite decent. And then it just puts that package camera. And you can, you know, set where you want that to appear on the screen. You know, lower right, lower left, top right, top left, etc. And I'll show that later in the app options. But first, let's get out of here. So that's basically the quick options on here. Now, if I go into the full options, you can see it says that I have a Lindo Security Plus plan, which expires August 10th. Now, plans are not a requirement with this camera system or this doorbell camera, but you know they do add additional functionality, some of which are normal and some which I don't think um, you should need to have a plan to have these features included, and I'll get into that now. So if we go into the motion detection tab, you can check and enable motion detection. I have the option to go between all detection or human only detection. Now we also have a detection sensitivity. I can go to low, medium, or high. I have it set to medium right now and then activity zone. Now setting an activity zone is something that's very standard on a lot of camera systems, but on this particular camera system, they want you to have some type of plan to access that. And that's something I don't agree with. This should just be, you know, basic functionality without paying for it. And then we also have the package detection option and it does mention that it's a beta option. So something that will improve. Now for the auto response, you know, you can have it play automatically during preset times or days, you know, say you're not going to be on the weekends for deliveries. Um, you know, you can say, please leave the package at the door. So you have a couple of options there. All right, let's go into power manager. And you can see I have 31% battery life left and there's a couple of modes to pick from. So power saving, default power, security recording. I normally have it on the default power because you know I just want a good balance between battery life and security. But if we go into customize the recording, I can go ahead and edit that. And you know I could set it from as low as 10 seconds of recording time to 60 seconds. And then I could set kind of like the re-trigger time or cool down time. But I'm going to leave it on default power. That's what I've been leaving it on. And I can go, you know, two, three, maybe even four months um, with this fully charged. So battery life is pretty good on here on the default setting. Now, we do have an option to have a status LED light. I do have that on. I like people to know when it's active. So you can go into video settings. So night vision, you have options for auto on or off. And I just leave it on auto and it does a pretty good job. Now I do have another really powerful light. So a lot of the times it doesn't need to, you know, go to the black and white night vision. Now I've enabled HDR and we can also go into viewpoint. And this is where you can set where you want the lower camera or the, the bottom camera to display its uh, picture in picture feed. So you can see I have it right now to the um, bottom left there. And that's again when you're in full screen. Now, if we go into audio settings, so you can have audio recordings and you can change the default volume. Now we also have privacy zone. And again, this is another thing where in some places, you know, states or countries, you need to actually have a privacy zone for your neighbor to block out, you know, uh, capturing whatever they're doing. And on this camera system, when I first set it up, it asked me, um, to sign up for a plan to have a functionality to this and that should not be the case You know setting up privacy zone and activity zone should be included on her now I do have the option to do it because you can see I have a plus plan active until uh, August now if we go into notification We can get notifications for doorbell rings doorbell calls, you know motion detection live view, etc and you can switch where you want the notification to open into into the events tab where you can look at all the recordings or into live view I prefer to have it into live view and then we have um, rich notifications or text notifications as well 
Obviously text notifications are gonna be quicker. You can also set, you know, motion alerts or ring alerts as well. And you have a couple of options here. Now, if we go into the doorbell chime, so with the chime unit that comes with this, you can have an LED and then you can set the volume here and you can also go through different type of, um, you know, chime sound. So I just have it on the default. Now you can also share the device if you want to with other family members. All right, so let's take a look at the events tab and this is where you would go to review any type of playbacks. Now I'm gonna play this one here because it's detected, you know, front door, a person plus a package. So I'm gonna play that. So you can see it's quite successfully detected that there is two packages there, a person and you know, this audio pickup or sound uh, quality is pretty good. You know, it picked up the internal ring in my house with the chime going off. So, I mean, this works pretty well. Now I can also go and kind of make this a full screen view where I could have seen, you know, the packages at the bottom, but obviously the default view here where it's kind of split, it's a little bit bigger to see packages. So yeah, the events tab is really uh, easy to navigate and then you can go ahead and filter down to, you know, what type of events you'd like to see. So if I just go into package, confirm, you know, it's pretty quick at pulling that up. So yeah, the app is really easy to use. The user tab is where you would go to get support and to take a look at your plan. So you can see it says plus plan online. If I click on service, it says plus. So plus plan has additional protection in 30 days of recording. So it shows, you know, 30 days of recording, extended clip durations, expanded recording capability. But most important is this part here, expanded settings options. So enable privacy zones and activity zones. And again, this is not something that should be behind a paywall. This should just be basic uh, camera functionality. Now, if I click get now, just to give you an idea of pricing, so it would be $4 US a month or $40 if you pay annually at one time. So I've went ahead and canceled my plan. You can see I no longer have that plus plan. And let's now go back into the camera settings. And you can see if I go into privacy zone, I have to actually get a subscription to use that feature. And if I go into motion detection, same thing, I have to now get a subscription to use it. And there's actually one other area where this is affected which is if you go into the power manager, I only have the option to make power saving, default power, security recording. The customized recording option is now gone because I do not have that plus button. So overall, the app is really easy to use, quite convenient. The only issue that I have sometimes is that sometimes it takes a really long time to pull up. So let me go ahead and click live view again, and let's see how long it takes. So you could see at the start, you know, it took, it was almost instant a couple of seconds. This time it took, you know, maybe, four or five seconds. And I find that's kind of how my experience has been with this. I'll try that again and see how long it takes. So it's taking a little bit of a longer time. And even though nothing is really changing on my end, I mean, the camera stays in the same position. It's kind of, um, you know, inconsistent in how long it takes to pull up a live view feed. So something to be mindful of. Now, if you're hoping to catch any porch pirates, unless they're moving really slow or, you know, they're really suspect and kind of looking out before they steal your package, most likely you're just going to catch the back of them leaving your doorway or entryway with your package. So again, they have to be moving really slowly to catch that. Now, if your package is delivered you're a bit further away from your door and they just walk right by, grab it and leave, the motion detection won't even have time to kick in, start up the recording and even detect that your package was missing. And you may not even know the package was there in the first place because if it's placed too far out, the package detection won't work. You can see that even though I have a covered or sheltered entryway, which limits the light that comes in, you know, the video quality is still pretty decently exposed. I can still make out a lot of detail and the microphone pickup is excellent as well. Night vision on here is pretty decent, but again, keep in mind, if you can have a porch light or some kind of floodlight set up, it's gonna be much better than relying on whatever LEDs come with this since they're really small in terms of the light output. This is what the volume sounds like at around 50%. So as long as your internet connection is good, you shouldn't experience much audio dropouts. Hello, who's there? Hello, who's there? 
The notification speed on your phone when someone presses the doorbell or once it detects motion is really good on here. And 90 to 95% of the times when I tapped on a notification, it would launch right up into the app, no problems at all. But you know, five to 10% of the times, it would take a really long time to load or it would time out and I would have to like go into the app and manually pull up Live View or manually go into the events tab. So would I still recommend the Lindo Dual Cam Video Doorbell? And I probably would still recommend it for most people because if you're looking at this video, you're probably interested in, you know, the ability to see if your package is there or not, or, you know, when it was delivered. And that's the reason why I would buy something like this and keep it on my door. There's a lot of video doorbells, but not a lot of them have that secondary camera to track packages. And while the package detection is a bit hit or miss since it's in beta right now, you know, I can easily pull up live view and, you know, that's always uh, a fail safe because you can always just visually see in live view if your package is there or not. So in that regard, um, it fulfills my need or desire. Uh, about you know my package anxiety now if you live in an area where you must set up privacy zones then obviously this is not going to be a recommendation at least you know the way the functionality is set up now and i really do hope uh lindo double thinks that because if they look at a lot of their competitors and what they're offering um the functionality that they're putting behind a monthly plan is just you know basic or standard in a lot of other camera systems i'm also really happy that they've included a wireless chime with this doorbell because I'm not really a fan of hard wiring things and the chime works really well. There's not like a big delay or anything like that and it gets plenty loud. I could have it on my second floor and if I crank the volume, I'll still hurt. But yeah guys, let me know what you think of the Lindo Dual Cam 2. Is it worth upgrading to something like this to have that secondary camera for packages? You know, having that really wide field of view, it definitely comes in handy. I have package anxiety. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. But I'm always curious so if my package is still there when I'm out. And as always, if you found this video helpful, please consider liking it, subscribing. It really does help me out a ton. And I'll see you in the next one soon.